it's your favorite time of the month. Perfecting my account series is back. I feel like at this point, it really shouldn't surprise you that Yai Miko is the next character. If you don't know, Perfecting My Account is a series where I pick one character and I focus an entire month of just building them. I try to give them the best weapons, artifacts, max out their talents, give them the best stats that I possibly can, and basically try to make them perfect. As always, let's start by showing you her stats. Honestly, she's probably like one of my best build characters. I like using her in an aggravate or hyper bloom team. This is what her stats are looking like. She has 77% crit rate, 192 crit damage, a little bit of energy recharge, which she does need, and a bit of elemental mastery, which again, she does need a little bit. Her weapon, currently she has a Witsit R2 level 90. Artifacts, this is what I want to focus on because I do love the set on her, but I think it's not like the best on her. This is what her flubber is looking like. Her feather, sands, electro damage bonus goblets, and her crit damage circlets. Pretty good if you ask me. C0, talents are 8, 10, 8, and she is level 89 out of 90. My plan for this character is that since she is probably my most used and my most favorite character gameplay wise, I want to spoil her. And so before we get into any sort of leveling, we're gonna do a test damage with our favorite Masanori. We're gonna start by just taking Aimiko completely solo against the the Dark Lord. And then we're gonna do a comparison with just Nahihi. Let's check her E skill. It's doing 6,000 for... For, Masanori, come on. I think our highest crit is 6,497. They want to do normal attacks now. Oh, her, her normal attacks are super small. <laughs> I think the 2,000 one is like the highest. Yeah. Now, we're gonna do her burst. Right now, emerge. But I want right to do here. her burst like how you should do. I think 13,000 and then there were the 17,000 ones. I think this is like what we're gonna do to be honest in terms of damage. Okay, now we're gonna do a damage check with just Nahihi. So Nahihi, let's check her E skill. So 9,000. <laughs> That's so funny. We're doing like 12,000, 7,000. You may say these are very underwhelming numbers, but I will say that I don't care. <laughs> I'm honestly here to have fun. Okay, oh, we did 20,000. Okay, I think 20,000 was the highest one. So now let's do normal attacks. Some of these are so underwhelming, truly. All right, we have collected the data and now we can move on to the first stage, Tal. Last week, there was actually a talent book line overflow. And so I was able to pretty much already get all of the talent books she needs. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go to the crafting table to get as many of the famed hand guards as I can. Maybe I have enough, actually. I think I want to teleport to Narakami Shrine in order to do it. It seems appropriate. Let's do it. Let's start, I think, with the, her normal attack. I never realized that this says Sin Eater. Level 9. And her very... I want to say her very first crown. That's a lie. She already has one crown. <laughs> Yaimiko is officially triple crowned. Oh my god, I just realized how much more of that ate. Oh no. Now we can move on to second stage. Upgrading her signature weapon. I honestly don't even know how this weapon works. Like, what is what is the passive? Let me read this. I don't even know what this weapon needs. I worry that it needs, um, you know, the handguards. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. I'm actually positively surprised. Wait, looking at the amount of stuff I have, first of all, I don't even know how I got these calls. I don't remember farming them like ever. Maybe we'll be able to do it right now. And now I need two more of those. Ooh, I need those. Do I have enough? Yes, okay, I do. I do have enough. And level 90. I guess we can already move on to the third and last stage, which unfortunately is gonna be the worst one because we need to go for artifacts. How about we take a little 
snack break. Thank you so much to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring this video. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako are basically monthly subscription snack boxes that help you experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. Tokyo Treat provides the latest limited edition seasonal flavored pop snacks that are available exclusively in Japan. Sakurako on the other hand specializes in a bit more traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks while supporting local snack makers. They also include Japanese tea and a piece of tableware. How cool is this? Besides that, every single month, these snack boxes have their own special theme. So for this month's theme for Tokyo Treat, we have Okinawa Seaside Snacking. Okinawa is a beautiful and famous seaside spot in Japan, so every single snack is beach themed. Let me show you what we have. Oh, uh, I already know what's gonna be my favorite. <laughs> Koikea salted caramel chips, some juicy pineapple gummies, Okinawa brown sugar fugashi, shimi cocoa corn puff, and honestly so much more. And considering that I cannot read Japanese, just in case, you can always go back to this little guidebook that tells you exactly what snack is what. They also include info about allergens. Let's try this brown sugar sesame crunch. I I'm thinking of something sweet. <laughs> you know me, I'm a sweet tooth. It reminds me a lot of Polish uh, sesamki, if you've ever had it. It tastes really similar to that. I think I've seen these before, but I've never had them. I didn't open this pretty. <laughs> This is good! My favorite, as I thought, are cookies and cream Kit Kats, but also the pineapple juice and the lemon sticks. Moving on to Sakurako, this month's theme is Heritage of Nikko, which reflects Japan's adult period. I think it's such an interesting way to learn more about a certain culture by just enjoying all of the flavors that they produce. Okay, mine admittedly does not look as cute as on the picture. I need more practice. Let's see what's inside. Lots of different flavors of senbei, this funky waka eye marshmallow, skyberry waffle cookie, sesame ankle donuts, and more. I specifically want to try one of the Nico specialties. It's called the Nico Rusk. Oh, I crushed it by accident. Oh, milk. That's what it is because it has such a creamy flavor to it. Mm. I'm a very serious adult. And this is Chigiri Kusamochi. I've never had anything like that. This tastes so interesting. I can't even describe it. I'm truly amazed with the quality and amount of snacks you get in just one box. And if you would like to get yourself a box like this, or maybe as a gift to one of your loved ones, I actually have a discount code for you. Use my link and type in the code KATODELING to receive $5 off of your first box. Thank you again so much to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for working with me on this video. At the thing with artifacts is, I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but I want to switch Yai's artifact set because right now she has the four piece gilded, but ideally I want to go for two piece attack and two piece thundering fury. What I am thinking in terms of artifacts is that we could technically farm this domain, the Shimanawa one, because well, first of all, we need the Shimanawa pieces for Yai Miko, but also I would not say no to good emblem pieces. So I need to farm this domain anyway. And I'm thinking that all of the not pleasant pieces, let's say it like that, we could throw into the Thundering Fury Strong Box and then we can get the other half of the set. Farm Shimenawa and Strong Box Thundering Fury. Okay, Miko has blessed us and we're gonna go to see maybe if we can Strong Box some nice pieces for her. Let's do. I honestly will take like any piece. Okay, maybe not that kind. <laughs> no. Oh, maybe potentially. Okay, nothing really special, I think. Oh, okay. Potential. No, if one of those was crit rate, it would have been so good. Ooh, it doesn't have any crit damage, but you know what? I, I'll keep it. It's not a bad one. The substats. It, of course, it's defense percent. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Are you serious? <sighs> what is it? Is it the third time today that we're having double crit stats on a defense percent? I guess we're gonna go grind some Shimanawa now. Clearly that domain loves giving me Shimanawa, which means I should get a lot of good pieces for my Yaimiko, right? I have been farming this domain quite a bit, but I, I don't remember really getting anything. Perfect, Shimanawa pieces. That's okay, maybe not perfect. I feel like this episode might be extremely short compared to the other ones. <laughs> oh, I recently also switched Yaimiko's wings to the green ones. I love how like delicate moves Yaimiko does when she... Uh, when she just, you know, does her little spells. I don't know, like, she's just... She looks so graceful. Look at her. And when she does her e-skill, she looks like a little fairy. Ooh, Shimanawa perfect. It doesn't have any crit damage, but... I mean, it's a piece. Oh, speaking of crit damage. Wow, the graphics ever since I got myself a new PC, like I'm playing on the highest settings and I just, I can't believe of how different the game looks. The trees, the, just something as simple as just these orangey reddish trees. They look completely different. The sunset too, look, it's beautiful. But uh, going back to the domain, <laughs> three emblems pieces when i don't need emblem shimanawa pieces okay <laughs> of course why <laughs> you know what let's not look at it Let, let's leave the domain and forget about this piece i i don't need more salt into my wound i think i might already have like a decent two-piece set for her but i'm also not 100 percent sure we have time we have time to really perfect her i still have like 12 days <gasps> oh my. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh Shimano. Uh, why a physical? No, no, no. Wait a minute. I needed to get that last particle to get her burst up again. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see how many artifacts I have. Okay, I have quite a few <laughs> that I could jump on. I just realized like how long that list is. Okay, we can do like definitely at least two rounds of strong bots. Okay, okay. F first one and we already have something I could use. That's a nice pyro goblet. Very no. Come on. <laughs> no. Really? Yikes. Okay. Ooh, poor goblets. I don't think I got any... I was about to say I don't think I got any electro damage bonus. This could be something. <laughs> It's one month after we started perfecting my Yaimiko and we're gonna use the last bits of resin that I have. I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna give like basically a new set for my Yaimiko. And also as you probably saw, I got a Hayden, so you can cancel all of your speculations for next month. My Yaimiko is gonna be even better. <sighs> They grow up so fast. Ah, this hurts. <laughs> Just looking at this. You know what? I'm gonna lock this because who knows? Maybe for Zhongli. Oh, okay. Why not? Hop, hop, hop. I feel like it's also gonna be a bit easier to be beat. Build. <laughs> Build Yamiko because I... Oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, because I am gonna use the two-piece sets. And it's... Oh, it's so much easier to build your characters with two pieces. And one last condensed resin. What are we gonna get? Oh, only Shimanawa. It... No, emblem. <laughs> Let's go to artifacts. You know, I do want to keep this set because as you know, it does have really good substats. I'm actually thinking, oh, giving this set to Mr. Elhatham. I'm gonna be so sad giving this up, but <laughs> let's filter by Shimanawa. We have 250 Shimanawa pieces and only 48 Thundering Fury. Maybe, you know what? Let's start with Thundering Fury then. Wait, we got some pretty good pieces. Oh, this one is a foreign liner, so could be pretty good subset priority i think i want to go crit damage crit rate attack percentage energy recharge and then elemental mastery would also be nice and then after that we're gonna do the showcase of how yamiko looks after okay crit rate yes what if it all rolls crit rate oh that would be so good 
you know, attack percentage is still very good. Yeah, I would appreciate it, I think. My question is that because I have to level so many pieces to mix and match and get like the best artifacts, I am worried I'm not gonna have enough fodder, but uh, pretty great. Oh, that's still good. <laughs> Literally one crit rate. 13 crit rate, not bad. Uh, what else do we have? We have this one, which is pretty good. Because as I said, this is Yaimiko. I am allowed to be as greedy as I want. And I can throw stuff like this and not worry about the consequences. Just like that. Um, maybe next time. It's not a bad piece. I'm still gonna keep it. Maybe I would give it to Fischl. Uh, what's next? This one, I want to look mainly at like four liners since I want to be greedy. So we're gonna upgrade, I guess, this one. This has three stats we need plus HP. So again, do I throw this? Yeah, I do. It's Yai Miko we're talking about after all. They're very similar now that I think about it, these two. Okay, I'll keep them, but I will not use them. You know what? I'm gonna equip this for now. And let's see if I can find a Shimanoa piece that's better than that. Okay, we have quite a few pieces to go through. Mm, no, four liners. We're gonna choose four liners first, unless I don't find any four liners. <laughs> Do I really not have any four liners locked? Oh, because it's so good. I'm so confident it's not gonna roll badly. See? Actually, I'm still gonna roll it at least till level 16 if it rolls crit damage. Could be nice. Oh, if it rolls crit damage again, it would be really nice. <laughs> Okay, mm, I am worried I'm gonna run out of fodder. Like this is gonna be the time I have to use all of my emergency supplies. Ah, uh, okay, this one I am immediately throwing away. So we don't have any other four liners, right? So let's go to, th let's just go through all the artifacts and let's see all the, all the four liners. Ooh, crit rate and crit damage. Oh, do I really not have anything else? Hmm, uh, I would want probably attack percentage or energy recharge. Okay, okay. Come on, uh, crit damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Crit rate also works, I guess. But like, crit damage. I kind of need it. Crit rate is... I mean, it's good. It's just... Uh, I mean, hold on. If you roll one more time at the crit rate... Actually, maybe, maybe I wouldn't complain. <laughs> maybe I'm just lying. Maybe I'm not complaining at all. Moment of truth. Crit rate. <gasps> yes! This was good. Now we have one Thundering Fury, one Shimanawa. So let's go to Thundering Fury pieces. Oh, I did lock something even. Oh, how about Shimanawa? So you're telling me I only locked two? Okay, so crit damage as my last stat, please. No. Okay, I am not rolling this. I, I am greedy. I am greedy. Miss Yaimiko has to have at least three substats that I need. At least. I do not set for mediocre pieces with her. No, no. That could be anyone else, not her. <laughs> uh, no. Well, uh, how about... There was this one piece, right? From, uh, <laughs> from Thundering Fury. Uh, crit rate? Or even the tag percentage would be fine. But crit rate is definitely, you know, more valuable. I said attack percentage, not flat. <laughs> okay, so we don't have sands, which is lovely. Do we have any goblets? Yikes, what? <laughs> Do I have any Shimanoa? <sighs> What's the goblet that you have currently? Decent, it's not the best, but it's decent, you know? I need a crit damage circlet though, not a crit rate one. Uh-oh, no, no, don't tell me. No, no, no? Okay, so we don't have two pieces. Um, hold on, didn't we have more Shimanawa? We could potentially try to roll more Shimanawa pieces. Let's go with that one, for example. Crit damage, maybe? No, 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 no. How about this? Uh, was I the one that said that it's easier to build two pieces? Yes, I was. Crit rate. Why flat death? <laughs> I'm so done seeing it. <laughs> I'm literally running out of pieces. Come on. You can't give me. Oh my god. Crit rate. Yes. Crit stats. Only. Of course you miss all the crit rolls. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, it's fine. This is fine. Oh, uh, let's just see. No. I think I might get this one from Sara. We gotta go to Strongbox. I don't have enough stuff to give my IB code. I know you, we could technically also use the Gladiator one, but I think I want to use the Strongbox for the Thundering Fury. Please give me ooh, lots of goblets. One of them has to be good Electra, right? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, I kind of want to roll it like right away. Come on, give me. Please roll nicely. I'm gonna throw like everything at you. I'm giving you all the love and care that I possibly can. Please give me crit rates all the time, please. Why did you spread out like that? I think I'm gonna use it because I don't have anything else, but... And I guess we need also sands or a goblet so that we can get an offset sands. Please, I believe in you. Sands or goblet. Ooh, lots of goblets again. Give me... This is electro damage. Uh, almost. This one. <sighs> what? What? You give me on a set electro damage, but it's atrocious. Uh, I don't even feel like checking the rest. Oh, of course, defense percent with double crit stats. One more time. Wow, it's it's teasing me. It's electro, and I'm getting like teased to get, get it. it. Oh, these ones are so bad too. Why is it not attack percentage? Three goblets, two sands. We're gonna leave them for last, actually. No, no. Okay, sands. No. Why? I mean... Uh, no. 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 One last time. And if I don't get it, I might do a strong box video just like separately because this Yaimiko is not perfect yet. Come on. Why NMO? Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Why? See, finally you give me an attack percent sans. But, uh, why did you tease me like that? I looked at this substance and I was like, is this the one? Nope, it is not. I am not prepared for this outcome. But what do I do? I don't have enough. Like, I can't even switch the flower to one of the other ones we got because I need the Shimanawa pieces. I just, I need the sands. Let's roll this one first. Please. Crit stats. Please. Okay, I'm gonna roll it till 16. Come on. Oh no, no! What are her stats looking for now? Let's let's just see. Wait, what? Hold on a second. She doesn't have one artifact, and this is what her stats are looking like already. I can create a monster. <laughs> you know what? I just realized something. I never use any fragile resin because I'm always like, I feel like it's not worth it. I would prefer it to use on something that's urgent. Most humans could have the entirety. Yeah, Miko is talking in the background. <laughs> We're terribly dull reading. And then I realized that. This is that urgent situation. Get to grinding. So, have I been in this domain? Like, ever? <laughs> I don't know. First batch of... Yes. <laughs> no, Thundering Soother. That's a bit of a downside to this domain. That we're gonna get the other set that I really don't want. Thundering Soother again. And of course, I do get nice double crit stats. Oh, three pieces. Nope. Nope. No. Okay, sands, we need sands. Not this sands. Okay, a goblet. If it was electro, I would love it. I mean, I still love it. It's a really good hydro damage bonus goblet, but if it was electro, I guess I'm gonna be farming either until I get an artifact that's missing or until I use all my fragiles, I guess, whichever comes first. <sighs> My cat is like truly requiring some cuddles. No, not thunder suit. Ooh, we got sands. So I am hopeful. It is an attack, but like it only has... Okay, I'll lock it because we literally do not have anything else. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh my god, I think we got it. Ooh, does that mean that I finished? Please, please, please tell me. Ah, uh, where is it? Uh -huh. I've been farming for like one and a half hour using all my fragile. Oh, I did look three. Considering that I kind of don't care <laughs> at this point because I've spent so much time farming the artifacts. I think I'm just gonna risk it all. I would obviously want crit rate, please, or only crit damage rolls. Technically, I did get what I wanted, but practically, why did I get two ER rolls? Crit rate or crit damage, doesn't matter. One of those. 
better than what we have which is nothing, <laughs> so I guess, you know what, I still want to, just out of curiosity, roll that other one. No, okay. <laughs> I guess this is gonna be it for now. So let's see what our stats are looking like. We definitely have way too much energy recharge. <laughs> we, we really don't need that much. And let's go through all of the artifacts that we ended up getting. We have this flower. It's like, all right, could be better, could be worse. Feather, amazing, 10 out of 10. This one um, could be better. This one pretty okay, but could be better. Finally, our crit damage circlet. Again, could be better. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the biggest improvement need to be done in the Thundering Fury pieces. So I think... I think I might end up doing some strong box videos soon in the future, trying to improve these. I will ideally try to still minimize her ER a little bit. I think I would get it to like 120 or 130 ish. Maybe get these two a little bit higher. And let's move on to the showcase of our Yaimiko. Well, for now. Considering that I did the before footage a month ago, I'm not gonna lie, I don't exactly remember what I did then. I think I used Yaimiko solo and then with Nahida. Let's see, Yaimiko's normal attacks. Oh, <laughs> 400! That is... Wow. Isn't this worse than what it was before? She's not even critting. She has six, 60, I think, percent. Why are you not... Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 4,500. That was, I think, the highest. Now we're gonna do her E skill. 11,000. Yeah, I think 11,000 is gonna be her biggest one. So, okay, Masanori, please do not block my burst now. Right Let's here, do a proper right one. A sight to behold. 22,028. Ooh, I think that was an improvement. Uh, let's do with Nahida. And let's do normal attacks. 3,000. I think it's still the same, honestly. Oh, no, not 9,000. That's bigger. Ooh, 20. I saw 20,000. Now we're gonna do the burst. My cat is meowing in the background. I'm always watching. 35. Looking at the Amiko's damage, I can definitely see an improvement in her own personal damage. Her damage with Nahida is a little bit smaller, but I think it's because she simply has less elemental mastery than she had before. So overall, personal damage of Riyami goes higher. Her reactions are a little tiny bit smaller, but I would still say it's really good. As I said, I'm probably also gonna do a strong boxing video, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, this is what my Yaimiko looks like.